Let's talk about action cameras, shall we? Action cameras like the GoPro 7 Black are remarkable for many different reasons. If you're alive in the modern age, you're probably already familiar with all the specs and the benefits, and you don't need me to remind you in this video, so I won't. However, while the action cameras themselves are incredible, the plastic mounts that they come with, or the accessory mounts that we purchase after the fact, are pretty much exclusively garbage. I think I paid about 40 bucks for this mount. It worked well for a week before the suction cup stopped adhering to smooth surfaces. And it's at the point now where I just don't trust it to hold a $400 camera, especially on the exterior of a vehicle or any place that I might want to actually use a suction cup mount. Just so that you know I'm not picking on GoPro alone, here's another DJI mount. This is a DJI bicycle mount. It even comes with a little shock for suspension. This mount was more expensive. It was about 60 bucks and it's just not a great mount. It doesn't do what it says it's supposed to do. So long story short, these mounts are not cheap and yet they leave lots to be desired. Since I bought my very first GoPro back in 2012, I've been on the hunt for quality mounts that will keep my camera safe, give me steady shots because nobody likes extremely shaky footage and then also be somewhat kind on my bank account. And in 2019, I finally found what I was looking for. I found a company called Tacform. They are a small family owned company and they make very high end mounts for various action cameras, phones, and tablets. These Tacform mounts are gonna be the subject of today's video. So without further ado, let's hop to it. Okay, so here's what a typical Tacform mount looks like. In front of me, you basically see an articulating arm that's made of aluminum. This is the Enduro Series handlebar mount. It retails for about 60 bucks, and it basically consists of two ball heads, two ball joints, and an elbow joint. Each elbow is serrated so that when you go ahead and lock this thing down, the notches fit together perfectly and it creates a very firm and secure connection. Boom, that thing's not going anywhere. The same is true of the ball head joints. So if you undo this little guy and you examine the ball head joint very close up, you'll notice that it's textured. It's got lines on it. By the way, this is also an aluminum piece, so it's very solid. So this rigid little ball head with texture fits in the clamp. Ah! And when you tighten the clamp down, the ball head gets securely fastened and this thing's not going anywhere. This is important because secure connections equal diminished camera shake, and less camera shake equals better, smoother footage. Now, I'm not saying that this mount is gonna eliminate 100% of camera shake, but you will get rid of a lot of it. Check it out. I took this arm out on my single speed and took it for a short bike ride across the Narrows Bridge in Tacoma, Washington, while also filming hyperlapses. Note, the footage you are watching has not been stabilized in post-production, and I think it looks pretty darn good. In any case, it looks better than anything I've been able to capture with flimsy plastic mounts in the past. Let's talk about build quality. In your hands, this articulating arm feels anything but cheap. It's got a very solid build to it. It's heavy. And I suspect that it's gonna endure tons of beatings in the coming years and will last an extremely long time. Additionally, since this is comprised of different modular pieces, sections can be added and removed which means that if you invest in several pieces of equipment from Tacform, you'll be able to build longer arms or make shorter arms. You can even build yourself a scorpion tail, which can make for some really interesting shots. Moving right along, the next mount that I grabbed from Tacform was this car seat headrest mount. This is a mount that retails for about 60 bucks. 
and it does exactly what it says it does, what the name describes. This mounts to the headrest on any car and allows you to have an articulating arm to get shots of inside the cab or the back of the car, whatever you want really. Similar to the previous arm, it's got numerous moving joints and ball heads. So when you get to the tip and tail, things start looking a little different. On this end, you have the actual anchor point this is the piece that mounts onto your headrest. You're gonna need an Allen key because this puppy gets installed with four bolts. This takes a few minutes, but when you're done, the anchor point is extremely durable. This thing's not going anywhere. And then on the other end, you have your little quarter 20 mount, which can mount any sort of action camera like a GoPro or whatever you have in your arsenal. And it's also on a ball head, so you can easily level your camera and then there's a little dial, which is very rigid. Um, it's got ridges, it's not, I guess not rigid, but it's, it's very coarse. It's got deep grooves on the turn dial, which essentially makes it easy to fix a GoPro onto it and tighten it up really nice and snug so that your camera's safe, your driver's safe. Bada bing, bada boom. Sometimes a lot of these mounts will make a smooth turn dial and then it's very difficult to secure your camera onto the mount. Tacform did it right. They put lots of ridges in it. It's like a very, very rough coin. And so it's very easy to crank on this thing and tighten the, um, the tripod plate onto the tripod. Once installed, the articulating arm can be bent and flexed in many different ways, which allows you to get some pretty unique shots. In my tests, I use this headrest mount to film myself driving around for work and pleasure. As you can see, the footage looks pretty darn clean and stable. I'd also like to note that this arm has a very low profile and doesn't impede my visibility while driving. This enables me to get shots in a safe and responsible manner because when you're driving a vehicle, the only thing you should be focusing on is actually driving so that you stay safe, so that everybody around you stays safe. So this thing enables me to hit record on my camera before I start driving. It's out of my way. I drive and get to where I need to go. Everybody's safe. I got the shot. No muss, no fuss. This thing is so convenient to have in the vehicle that I've decided to permanently install it in my car and just leave it there. That way when I need to pick up a shot here and there, I just unfold it, get my shot, then when I'm done, collapse it back into the seat and it's ready to be used the next time I need it. Last but not least, I also picked up a super clamp setup. The super clamp, just like the other clamps, has the articulating arm and the articulating arm then goes into a big beefy clamp. This is like a video industry standard. These things are incredibly handy and Tacform figured out how to mount their mounts into it. So if you just want the clamp, you can expect to pay roughly 40 bucks. And if you want the entire setup, it's about 80 bucks. And mine came with a little tablet mount so that I could put my iPad in it and essentially have an articulating arm that holds a small TV screen or a teleprompter or whatever you choose to use your iPad for. This puppy can firmly pinch just about anything. You can mount it to desks, metal bars of various sizes, tripod legs, two by fours and beyond. One leisurely application that I've been using this thing for is for watching movies on my iPad when I'm van camping. I can affix this super clamp onto my van bed and the articulating arm makes it easy to position the iPad in a way that it's convenient to watch, that I don't have to hold it. While the articulating arm as well as the clamp are made out of high quality aluminum, the tablet mount is actually made out of plastic. And that's just something that's good to know about. I feel like this is okay because generally when we do extreme things, we don't film them on our tablets yet. So at present, it's not really that big of a deal for me because I only really use this in kind of urban settings in a very gentle fashion. Everything else can be beaten down without fear of destroying it though. So just be careful with this thing. As for this, I think you could probably drop it off a 10 story building and it'll work just fine. Finally, I feel compelled to spotlight a couple GoPro specific pieces that Tacform produces because these items make film production a lot quicker and more convenient. And the first piece is this GoPro buckle. Now this piece integrates perfectly with 
the GoPro clip, kind of the standard clip that the camera comes with. So for example, here's a surfing, a mouthpiece for when you're surfing, and it has your standard GoPro buckle on it. And this tack form piece just receives it perfectly. So what this thing allows you to do is very quickly and efficiently mount whatever GoPro mount you have onto a tripod head. So say you, you went surfing and you used your little surfing piece, then when you get back to the car, you could just quickly mount uh, your GoPro buckle onto the tripod, slide your GoPro in, and now you have a steady shot, you're recording, you don't have to fumble with the actual camera and swap out mounts. Very convenient. The other piece worth mentioning is the actual tripod mount that Tacform makes. Now GoPro makes a mount just like that, however theirs is made out of plastic, while the Tacform one is made out of aluminum. So it's a lot beefier. I trust it a little bit more than plastic. And the other thing that they do is they've engineered this perfect little point of leverage, this lever, that really allows you to tighten the camera very securely and it's not going anywhere. The GoPro one, I have one right here. See, it kind of it has like, it's a little bit harder to tighten, especially if your hands are cold or you're going surfing and your hands are wet. This isn't as easy to tighten as this thing. So just for ease of use and durability, this tripod mount is worlds better than anything you can buy from GoPro. And I think it costs less too. These things retail for about 13 bucks. The buckle that I previously discussed is 13 bucks as well. In my assessment, Tacform makes very high quality, sturdy mounts that are durable enough to attach your expensive gadgets to. So whether you choose to attach an iPad or an action camera or a phone, these things will hold your gear securely. Furthermore, Tacform makes mounts that are within the same price range as crappy plastic ones. So instead of trusting your expensive gadgets to this thing, it seems like a no-brainer to go with the better product. Thus, I have no qualms whatsoever recommending this equipment to my viewers in this video. If you're looking to buy some new mounting hardware for your action camera, phone, or tablet, check out TACFORM online at TACFORM.com. You can also use promo code SERGEY10 to save 10% at checkout. All of the links and codes will be noted in the description below. That does it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Tune in next time. Over and out.